Welcome to Trionic 7. I'm Jonathan and I'm here in my 2002 Saab 95 Aero. Many of you have been asking about auxiliary input to the Saab 95 stereo. As you know, the pre-2006 models don't have an auxiliary input port anywhere. My wife's 2006 Saab does, because they have this uh, facelifted interior and uh, very different stereo equipment. There are a number of methods you can use to get auxiliary input to work in your car. Everything from cheap FM device all the way to special custom-made things that will actually create an auxiliary port here. Bit of a range there in price. I don't recommend FM adapters at all. They give you terrible audio quality. It's really too bad to be usable. The one I like the most and have been using for almost two years now is this uh, cassette adapter. This works if your 95 has a cassette adapter, which means you have the AS2 or AS3 stereo. If you have the cheapest stereo, the popular AS1 model, you don't have a cassette adapter at all. So unfortunately you cannot use this, but I think this is the easiest method to get auxiliary that sounds decently and doesn't cost a fortune. However, there are some tricks to this. Let me show you one of the first caveats with using a cassette adapter. So I'm turning it on, let's pull the volume down, and I'm inserting the cassette, which makes the stereo go to tape. And just wait a few seconds and see something that can happen to you. Okay, so it's starting to say tape skip, and this is this nice feature that they had in the cassettes where the saw would actually skip all the blank parts of the tape and just go to the sound or the part that has audio. Now the problem here is that unless you connect your cassette adapter to your phone and start playing something, this will just skip forever. I'm gonna stop you right here. Now we don't want the tape skip because it's a bit annoying. But there's a very easy fix because the Saab engineers were clever enough to have a disable function. Use your two fingers, press the seek button for a few seconds, both sides, it says BL skip off. This means blank skip off. So now we turn that annoying feature off. The second caveat is a problem that you might have with the tape auto reversing. Again, this is also a smart feature from the tape deck where it will auto switch the side, auto reverse feature. Now the problem is that these adapters are quite cheap and they're not really well made. So the tape deck will think it's reached the end when it actually hasn't. And the solution to this is also simple. Use a screwdriver, open up the adapter, and you'll find a number of gears inside. Be sure to keep all the gears that connect the tape, uh, these two things of the tape, I don't know the names. Keep all those gears, otherwise the car will not think you have anything inside the tape and it will stop play for you. Uh, but there's also gears going down to some feature that I don't really know what's what the use is for. But that one is the thing that malfunctions. So keep the gears here, remove the lower gears. You will see when you open it. And that is how you make the cassette adapter work nicely in your Saab 95. Just enjoy your music and if anything happens, say if there's a really cold day, minus 10 to minus 20 degrees, then it can still flip back and forth from the tape sides. What I do it then is just to take it out, I let it warm up for a few minutes, maybe give it a few taps, and then it usually works. So it's not the ideal situation, but it's still quite a cheap way of achieving decent sound. You can also buy these cassette adapters for very cheap from eBay. In fact, this looks very much the same to the real thing I bought here in Sweden in store. Uh, but the audio quality in this is terrible. It just costs one dollar on eBay with free shipping from China, but don't buy them, seriously. You will be very disappointed. You will think it's the same thing as this, but it's just a really cheap copy. So this one costs maybe 10-15 uh, bucks, or the Swedish equivalent of it. Also, you might want to invest in one of these cleaning cassettes. Now these are hard to come by these days, because tape cassettes are getting really rare, and so are, the, are the, all the accessories. I use these regularly when it starts to make uh, crackling sounds, it means you need to clean the tape deck. You take this cleaning cassette, and you use the little bottle of isopropyl alcohol, you drip a few drops onto this special tape and then you let it run for a few times back and forth until it's clean. And the problem is this one won't last forever, it says it's made for 16 cleans. So I don't know what I'll do when this runs out. 
So this is how you use your tape adapter in your Saab 95 for cheap auxiliary input. So this has been yet another quick tip video from Trianic 7, the YouTube channel for Saab enthusiasts. Please leave your comments below or questions and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're also on social media, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit and Instagram. My name is Jonathan, thank you much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.